Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Kevin and today we have another dive light review for you. So this time we're going to be reviewing the D710 by Orca Torch. So stick around and let me tell you why this is going to be the new light that I'm going to carry with me on every dive. All right guys, so per our usual arrangement, Orca Torch has provided us with a very nice gear bag. Um, this will fit wherever you need to take it and keep your device protected. So breaking into the light itself, um, one thing I do wanna note before we open it up is that the um, new light does come with a new battery. So what we're used to with these batteries is the standard lithium ion 18650 battery, which looks a little bit like this right here. So. Um, this is a beefier battery. It's going to hold a charge for a little bit longer, give you a little bit more power. And one of the key features to point out is that it does charge with a micro USB plug directly into the battery. So there's no need for you to carry around um, an external bay charger or anything like that. This light does come with two batteries. Um, I already have one installed so that I can kind of show you guys, but you access the battery just by unscrewing the whole center of the light like this. It just slides in and out. Easy as that. Nothing too complicated there. Uh, pretty much your standard. Screw this back together. Um, one of the things I really did like about this light and what I think kind of sets it apart from the earlier lights that I've reviewed by these guys is that this has a, the uh, power switch is on the side of it. So for example here, here's the um, Orca Torch D550, which prior to getting this light was my every dive light. I always brought it with me. Um, one of the downsides I noticed is that it does have this magnetic switch on the back, which is nice. However, depending on how you are attaching this to your BC, it's very easy to accidentally turn on. When I pulled up my, uh, my ring here, it would push the button and I'd you know, be diving and I noticed my lights kind of just swaying in the, in the dark and I'm like, oh man, I gotta turn that off. So um, a huge improvement to me was having this button on the side. That being said, one thing that they did get away from and uh, one thing it might be imperative for you to have it is they did get rid of the strobe feature. So to activate this light, you're just gonna push on the button uh, this has three different light settings. So this is your highest brightness. You go down a setting, down another setting, and click again for off. Uh, one new thing about this light is that once we're on any light setting, you can hold down the button and you will go into what they refer to as turbo mode. Turbo mode just increases the brightness to its max brightness, and as soon as you let go, the brightness adjusts back down. Um, it is a cool feature when you're folks trying to focus on something underwater, just need a little bit more oomph as far as the light goes. Um, in addition to the light, the batteries, and all that good stuff, they give you a cord to charge it with. Some spare O-rings already pre-greased up for you. And, of course, your manufacturer literature and your warranty card. So, um, like I said, not a whole lot to this light exactly. Um, I do like it. It's a little bit brighter than the D550. It's also a little bit more expensive than the D550. So, if you do choose this light, it, to me, it's worth a little bit of extra money having that button on the side so I'm not randomly draining my battery, but I think that's just going to come down to your own personal preference and also how, of course, you attach the light to your BC for storage. So um, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to show you some underwater footage with this guy. 